So you might be in this weird spot where for some reason your keyboard on your iPad is just wonky and it's all over the place. Maybe the keyboard just isn't working right. Maybe the keyboard is just floating. Maybe it's a split keyboard and you just want your keyboard to work like it used to. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and find your keyboard and you want to try to see if you can stick your keyboard back into where it was before. For example, if you have your keyboard like this, simply by sliding this keyboard down, so if you have your floating keyboard, just slam it down to the touch bar here, we'll actually go ahead and expand it once again. Now, the reason why this even happened in the first place is probably you were clicking on the little keyboard button here and you accidentally clicked it onto floating. That can probably be an issue. You can also, if you hold down on one of the sides, I think you can get open to like the split keyboard as well. By literally clicking the side button here, the international button most of the time, that will go ahead, this little slide down keyboard button here too. Most of the time that will fix those issues. Now, if your keyboard is not working for some reason on your iPad, Another thing you can try doing, which has helped me out a lot, is literally by sliding out of any application I was in, going back into it later on, and trying the keyboard thing again. So in this case, I can click on the little thing here. I can go ahead and click on this little keyboard option here too. And from here, I can go ahead and try doing the same thing. I can try typing, and that may end up fixing it. But a lot of the times, you may want to go ahead and update your specific iPad. This is a big deal that may end up you know, fixing it for your phone or your iPad. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your iPad settings, just like this. You want to click on general, which is right here, and then you want to go and click on software update. So what this is going to do is it's going to update your iPad to the latest generation of software that's available, and this is the thing that's probably going to fix it for a lot of you. If your keyboard is still dysfunctional, literally by updating your keyboard or updating your iPad, that will probably end up fixing it. But you also want to make sure you're using a stock keyboard or a keyboard that you're comfortable with. If you're using a third-party keyboard, you may just want to go ahead and just update the keyboard within your app store. And that may end up fixing the problem too. So you have a few different options here, and those are pretty much the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.